morning. I know I've had the scenes me this morning for yoga. Let me just check everyone is where they need to be. Okay. Can we see me? Joining us. Hi Sarah. Can somebody just give me a thumbs up that you can actually see me? Can you all see me? I just have to be mindful of these walls. I did actually want to do this outside, but it's quite windy, so I'm not sure you can have to see me, uh, hear me outside. Can we all see me? Yes. Maybe if I move forward. Yeah. Okay. Hi Amanda. Who else have we got? Alan. Hello, Alan. So, have we had a good morning so far? Yeah, I've just got a thumbs up, so I'm hoping that is that you can all see me. <laughs> right, so well, I'm actually in the right group for this this morning. Hi, Denny. Hi, Deb. Hello, Louise, again. <laughs> you want me throwing a warm up from yoga? Hi Jackie, hello Kim. Um, excited, yes, it's gonna be exciting. Can you all see me okay? Can somebody just um, let me know? I know I've asked, but I'm just double checking that you can all see me okay. I hope you can see me. Yes, oh perfect. Hi Helen, glad you can see. <laughs> I can't see your poor alignment. I'm sure I'm going to be with you on that alignment today, Deb, with the hoop in. <laughs> right, we'll just wait until quarter past. <clears throat> yeah, so we're just going to be doing 50, uh, 50, 45 minutes of this, so I will get my timings right today. I don't know, I think my timings have just been thrown out these last few days. Hi Gail, hi Hazel, have you got your hoop ready? Okay. Morning Gail, are you okay? It's like all the classes I'm teaching today, we've got Pilates as well tonight, <laughs> yoga this morning. Should have put bar in as well, shouldn't I today, just to make it. <laughs> quadruple selection. Right, <clears throat> just give it one more minute. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Same thing, exercise in a smaller place or space. I'm not going to open the windows today. I open the windows at the day and it's quite loud, so <clears throat> we'll leave those windows shut, I think, because you can all hear me. Oh, you hear me on the radio, girl? Did you? Yes, I'm going to try and get that and catch up and do a post. Hi, Denny. Hi, Dave. Right, I make it quarter past. So, let's get rid of that phone. So, welcome to the Who With It. So, not going to be teaching any tricks, any dance type moves. It's purely from a fitness point of view that we're doing this. So, just start in the middle of your hoop. So you can just stand in the middle of that hoop to begin. Let's just do a few little warm-ups without that hoop. Morning if you're just joining us. So from here, just bring your feet into that hip width position. And then quickly take a check in your alignment. So the knee to the first and second toe, the hips to the knees, your shoulders over the hips, and then the rib cage is long. So, just watch you don't look down, especially when you start to do this um, hula hoop. So you're just going to do little pelvic isolations. So you're going to tuck the tailbone underneath you, let me go side arm, and then go the opposite way. So if you're doing this, for example, in Pilates, it'd just be like your pelvic clock on the floor, 12 to 6 o'clock. So you can have a little bend in the knee if you need. So just forward and back as you go. So inhale, exhale. So we're going to go for another three, 
two, one. Now you're gonna go right to left. So just imagine that pendulum, so you're going side to side. So just take the pelvis right to left. So you're gonna get a hip hitch in effect or a pelvic hitch as you do this. So that's what you want, that action right to left as we go. So side to side, just imagine that seesaw, right to left, that's it. Try and keep the rib cage relatively still so you're not pushing out into the ribs. Just small isolations. If you need to go wider to facilitate that movement of the pelvic girdle, that's fine. Just go out a little bit wider. Two more. And now you're going to start to circle. So just keep this circles relatively small. So imagine you're tracing the dial um, of that clock face or the digits around the outside of that clock face. So just small here to begin. So it's true to the pelvis rather than taking the whole body. We'll do that in a second. Two more in this direction. So circle and then change. So full circle in that isolation. So try and make it as smooth as you can. We'll, we'll increase the range of mo movement in a minute when we start to take more of the body into this. So just the pelvis to begin, tiny. And release that. okay. Now, just start to take your body weight forward and back. So just let your heels lift and um, as you come forward, let the toes lift as you come back. So you can do this into a shoulder width position, just raise up, lift up. So just forward and back. Because the foot line is really important in this hula. Okay, now start to go side to side, but take your arms the opposite direction. So sway the hips out as if you're gonna touch the outer side of your hoop. So I'm guessing, or well, you hopefully stood in the middle of that hoop. I can't actually see my hoop, but I hope you can <laughs> see my hoop. Because I've got that bar on the bottom of my screen. So lengthen your arm lines, so arms with the head. Because we are going to do arm work in this with that hula. So another four, three, just swing free with your arm line, two, and one. Okay, now, final circle here around the outside of your circle. So this is gonna be a bigger movement now. So just check this centered in that hoop and then start to circle all the way around. So you take the whole body into that circle. Reach round, lengthen through the spine, keep the head level and then go the other way. So just go full circle. So it's like you're gonna to touch each part of that circle, the outer leg, the front of the legs, the side of the legs, the back of the legs. Complete circle, and we're going to do two more, and bring it to centre. Okay, from here, let's go for a roll down. So taking a breath in, just release as you let the head, the neck, the spine fully lengthen. Just hang almost like that rag doll as you release to the floor. Let the head and neck go, and then roll back up to the top. Just restacking those joints like those building blocks, one in turn, and then thumbs up to the sky and send the chest up to the sky and the arm line back and to centre. Let's do one more. Release the head and neck. Lengthen, keep the weight forward. So you want 60% of the weight forward. Hold when you get here. Now grab your feet as you come back up. So start to restack the body. One joint in turn. And then you're gonna bring the hoop, so let me just spin a second. So it rests just below the shoulder blade line. So your tip of your blade at the back is just sat there. Hook the thumbs on the inside, elbows rest onto the um, outer side of the hoop, and then go into extension. Just watch you're not pushing your hips forward here, because I don't want it to be in your lower back. And open that line and come back to center. Okay, from here, you're going to take a little knee bend if you need it, the back. Just watch where you are if you're not outside in relation to walls, etc. Because now you're going to go to the side. So you're going to side bend, centre, side bend, centre. So just imagine you're between those panes of glass as you lengthen. Now see so you can go a little further. So we're going to inhale to exhale. So the breath is really important in that hula hooping. And the breath along with the motion of the hula hoop has that stress relieving effect on the body. Lengthen, center, one more. Okay, now when you come back to center, we're actually gonna circle the torso with the hoop. So bend the knees if you need to, so it's not in your back. So you're gonna go over to your right, then start to circle. So it's not about how close you go to the floor 
and open the rotative effect that you're drawing a circle. So don't you just drop down here. Keep turn, 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 turn. And two more this way. So you've got a side bend first, then put the circle into it. That's it. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Okay, let's change direction. So we go side bend, then trace your circle. So you're coming forward into a little bit of flexion. Open back out. Side flexion there, side bend. Now watch your weight doesn't get pushed into the opposite side. Keep the weight balanced. Two more. So as you bend, you don't want to be pushing your pelvis back or your um, bottom to the back wall. Keep everything in alignment. One more. So maximize that mobilization through the spinal column and bring it to center. Okay, there we have it, a warm up. So from here, for the upper body, just quickly do the leg line. Press your palms so they're facing in, so it's like you've got a connection at the hoop as if you're gonna squish it into the side of the body. And then just notice as you're pressing into the hoop, that'll ignite these side lines of the body into the abdominal lines. Now all we're gonna do is a heel lift. So just raise your right heel, lower it. Left heel, lower. So alternate heel floats. Now do check that your feet have gone back to hip width for this. Now start to pick it up. So you're gonna press up off the floor and then down. So you lengthen and release. So at one point, both heels are off the floor. Because in this heel effect, there's a lot of work. <laughs> with the foot line, as I said earlier, and you're transferring the weight back and forth, so you need your ankles to be fully mobilized. Let's do one more on each side, and bring it to center, okay. So we are good to go. <clears throat> so to start with, choose whichever foot you like, so probably um, if you've got a dominant side, that's the foot that's gonna be in front of your body initially. So I am gonna break this down to the basics, so if you're already a pro hooper, <laughs> Just bear with me, because some people it might be your first time or not for a while. So I'll just try and do mirror image, so I'll go with my left foot. So ultimately, we want to be able to do both feet in front. Now just place the hoop into the, um, into the back line of your body. So it's not going to be sat into the, the um, joint, the bony prominence. It's just up slightly, but it's not up around the rib cage at the moment. It's just here, in that soft tissue. Now one foot in front, one foot behind. Now the motion of the hoop is actually a forward and back action where people go wrong if they actually try to circle with the hoop don't try and draw a circle in your hoop go forward and back so you just shift in the weight front leg to back leg and when you do this you want your feet to stay planted so this is what i mean about the ankle movement then once you've got that motion just let the hoop go so you're going to start to turn it's going to come forward from that wall and then press forward and back into the hoop so it's just forward and back motion as you go. So when you're pressing forward into the hoop, I don't want to be pushing the abdominals or the tummy muscles out. You want a little bit of center in there, so keep the ribs drawing down as you do this. So just go at a pace that feels suitable for you. If you've got a slightly weighted hoop, that'll help with the spinning effect rather than just a lighter one. If you've got a bigger circumference on that circle, that'll also help. Okay, now, just hold it there. So we're gonna look at three ways to recover that hoop. So if you start to feel that that hoop is dropping and you need to pick it back up, this is where we can go to. So shift your weight back and forward to start and when you've got that, let go of the hoop now. And then I want you to see if you can all come out into a shoulder whip position as you hoop. There we go. So the first thing you can do if that hoop is dropping, so imagine the hoop's dropping, is to go down with it and move the bottom side to side to pick it back up a little quicker. So you do like a little shimmy as the hoop starts to fall. You just pick it back up, shimmy it back up to the top, okay? So that's your first way of getting the hoop back. The second way if the hoop starts to fall, so it'll be slowing down, is to go forward and back a lot quicker than you were going, just to pick it back up, to so power it back up to the top. So we're there. And the final way, if it starts to drop, just turn into it. So you can do a little circle with your hoop. Okay, so that's your three ways. So, recap it. If it's dropping, go forward and back. So you do a little shimmy to pick it up. With the bottom side to side, pick the pace up. Or you power it through with the abdominal line a little quicker. Or you can turn into it. So any of those um, might work for you. 
So let's now start with that um, right foot, or whichever foot, sorry, your dominant foot in front. And we're just going to start to move forward and back. So let's get a pace on this hoop now. Relax your shoulders. That's it. Okay, keep the head level. Keep the spine long. We're working those abdominals here, so you've got a little centre in. Think almost, not that you're sucking the tummy in, but navel through to spine. So you've got a deep connection. We're not pushing anything out. So start to pick up your pace. So we're going to start to do this in intervals. I did say it's fitness based. So let's go a little quicker. So transfer the weight forward and back. The feet stay down. And then we're going to go. So we've got a little turbo phase here. So go even faster. Press forward and back. Keep the shoulders relaxed here. Keep going. Hold on. Stay with the pace. You might be going faster than this, that's fine, keep it going. Transfer that weight front to back, pick it up again. <laughs> Three, two, one, and then just step your feet out wide. You can let it slow down slightly, have a little recovery there. So from here, just find that pace, and then we're gonna go with that again. So just while we're recovering, so if you can bring your arms above the head, and just notice automatically how that hoop starts to spin a little quicker anyway. And then you're going to take your arms out into a T. And then you're going to bring it back up to centre. And we're going to go T, so we're in a wide position with the feet. And then we'll go back up to centre. Go out wide last time. <laughs> to centre. Finish it wide. Okay, now if you can, change feet. So you might want to place your other foot in front. So just start to get that um, focus and delay it. So keep going forward and back. I haven't got it down to a T yet, I can delay it. And still spin the hoop, okay? So it's ever um, leg you want in front, change it if you can. Okay, so get that movement. Start to move the hips forward and back. And... We pick up our pace, so we go a little quicker. Then we go faster, we get stronger. Arms come out for this, let's go. So you can lengthen the arms on this one. Keep moving, so forward and back, press through. Hold on, stay with it. I should have put time on this, shouldn't I? <laughs> for this power phase, now go. Turbo out a little quicker, so this is that turbo phase. Relax the shoulders. Keep the headline long, don't look down, keep going. So that's hoop still spinning, a little faster, all the way, <coughs> pick it up. Last three, two, one, and then step back into a squat position and just let that hoop slow down slightly. You can keep the arms out wide, that's it. Keep that stretch through the chest line. So a little recovery here. Yeah, just be careful if you've got walls or chairs. So obviously if you hit that, it'll stop the hoop spinning. So keep that length. And then we're gonna start our third round. Okay, so you can change the feet. Bring maybe the other one back in front just so it's even. Okay, now this time, rather than T arms, I want you to see if your arms can go above your head. So we're gonna do four rounds in total, so this is round three. So arms can go above the head, and then start to power it out. So the hoop will naturally go quicker as you do this. So let's go. Keep the length through the body. Can we go faster? We get stronger. So don't forget, this is gonna be massaging those organs internally with that hoop. So power it out. Keep moving. Can we get quicker? Let's go. Come on, hold on. Stay with it. Forward and back. Last four, three, two, one. And bring the arms back. Come out to the side. Okay, so final round. You need to change the leg again. So I'm hoping you start to have a transition between the two. 
just to even it out because otherwise what you might find is as well you may get a bruise on one side of the body and um, especially if you keep using the same leg and you know as we know the body is a little bit asymmetrical so your dominant side is probably taking over a little bit so do try and change the foot line right from here arms out into recovery just see if you can roll the shoulders back as you circle the hoop so the hoop is still going to go forward and back but baby shoulder rolls okay now you're ready for your final round <clears throat> on that turbo line place the other foot in front if you can start to find the pace now you can choose you could keep your arms here or you could take them above the head now start to pick up the pace so get a little faster let's go Remember what you're doing if it starts to drop. You either shimmy down towards the floor to pick it up, you can move faster forward and back to retrieve it, or you can turn into it. So keep going all the way. So forward and back. That's it. I think someone's made a comment there. Is everything okay? Have a look in a minute. Keep going, press into the palms. Let's go. Stay with it, come on, we're not done yet. Hold it together. Now dig a little deeper, let's go. Last round, push it on now. Come on, you can do this. I know some of you run marathons, <laughs> so let's go. And you pick up those weights. Last four, three, two, one. And release it down, keep that circle. I'm just gonna check everything's okay. Oh, you're a spectator, please. <laughs> Right, because <laughs> Grace taken over with that hoop. <laughs> so bringing it back to centre now. Bring your feet back into hip width. So from here, we're now going to take it into a little step, touch side move. So from here, <clears throat> you can just relax your arms and they can go out wide. We'll just slow it down to begin. So you're going to take your right foot out to the side and then together, and then you're going to step the other way and together. So you can make it slower and hold the middle line for longer and then step. So this is your option, go squat position, narrow position, squat position, narrow position. So you can slow it down if you needed to, otherwise you can go step touch, step touch. So you just keep the step touch as we go, that's it. So step touch, oh, don't hit your elbow as I've just done, because <laughs> then that will derail the line of the hoop. <laughs> so keep the step touch, that's it. Remember you can always go a little slower, wide to narrow. So you just do the same action, but you break it down, that's fine. If you've got more control like this, stay with this option. Otherwise, we're just step touching it, step touching it. That's it, now we've got to power forward and back as we go up. I'm going to lift my arms a little higher. <laughs> Keep going. Step touch, step touch, and bring it back to centre wherever you are. Okay, shall we try a little circle now? So let's turn into the hoop. <laughs> so go whichever way you want first. So just start to bring one foot in front of the other on a turn. So we're here, so just start to turn. Let's do another one in that direction. So you've got to keep going forward and back into the hoop. Don't go round and round. Okay, now we're going to change direction. So we're going to go the opposite way. So you might feel strange going one way compared to the other, or it might be more natural. So this is probably my better way. <laughs> How about you? Right, bring it back to centre. Now we start to put that into a little combination. Okay, so from here, you're gonna start out with the feet into shoulder width, and you're gonna bring the arms above the head. So it's shoulder width feet, long arm line. Have a little bend in the elbows if you need to take pressure off the head and neck, remember? So start to circle, so we're going forward and back as we go. That's it, now we are gonna power it out here. So last four, three, two, one, now you can keep your arms above the head if you want more challenge, and then start to draw your circle, or you can just go the other way with the arm line, bent position, out wide. Back to centre, 
to the opposite way. So press forward and back as we go. <coughs> Hope you've got space. Okay, back to centre. If not, just go in the spot and do this, okay? So from here, you're going to go step, touch. So go into your right, step and touch, step and touch. Or you can do the wide and arrow that I showed you earlier. So whichever position you prefer, wide to narrow, wide to narrow, or just keep the step touch going. So small steps together, tap together, that's it. Now try and keep your head level as you do this. So step touch. Oh, that was the wall. <laughs> Let's not touch the wall. <laughs> and bring it back to centre. Now we've got a little add-on. We're going to do a cross behind. So I'll do the opposite leg to you to start. So you're going to take, you can just stay with this option if you prefer. See if you can take your right leg behind. So you're going to do a little cross and then centre. Left leg, cross and centre. So just start to alternate. Now the, the hoop shouldn't be on the front of your hip bones, yeah? Keep it around the waist, around that midsection. And you're pressing forward and back. Now if you want a little bit more, we're going to see, space-wise, be careful if you can do two steps to your right. So you're going to cross behind, open, it's like a great one, cross behind, open, move, and then go back the other way. So cross behind, open, cross behind, open. So keep that going. So go to your right, step, open, step, open, and then we go back, step, open, step, open and then bring it back to centre. Okay, start to find the pace now on that hula hoop. Pick it up. We're going quicker. You're going to pick it up. Bring your arms out to the side. Or you can bring them above the head. So stay with it. Hold on. Good work. Now from this position, you're going to see if you can take it into a squat. So we're going to squat and then come up to centre. So squat and centre. So breathe in, breathe out. Arms out and in. Or you can just keep your arms still. So you choose where you want to go. If you want more, you can take the arms above the head as you step in. So you're going out and in. So add the arm line. Good. Can we get lower into that squat position? Just be mindful of your back. And if you lose the rhythm, just spend a little bit longer at the top, picking it up. How are we feeling this yet? <laughs> Forward and back, keep going. Okay, hold it here. Now, turn your feet out so they're on um, diagonals so if you're facing the corners of the room. Bring your palms together, start to circle. Now, you're going to go down low and stay there. Now stay circling here, press the palms, turn out the thigh bone, so we've got an inner thigh workout, and into the glutes. Stay here, stay working, watch the knee line, and then crash forward, because you don't want to hurt the knees as you do that. <coughs> Hold on. And back up to the top, arms above the head. Now let's do that into that movement. So you're going to sink, and then you're going to lift. So stay turned out and lift. It's a little bit quicker than the squat position you were just doing with the arms wide to narrow. You keep the palms together if you can. If that isn't good, just keep your hands on your shoulders as you do that. As I'm going to lose the hoop there. <laughs> so you could just stay or you could add in the arm line. Okay, bring it back to centre. Let's do a turn. Two turns, whichever way you like first, because we're going to change it, and we'll go the other way. <clears throat> so just alternate, <coughs> excuse me, those turns as you go. And bringing it back to centre. And then just start to slow that down slightly and come to a stop. Okay, grab a drink if you want to grab a drink. 
Then we're going to go on to our next phase. So, <laughs> from that turbo work and your uh, sequencing, we're now going to take it into the um, arms. Now, be careful. <laughs> if you've got light like, chandeliers, whatever, if you're doing this outside, this is ideal. So, the arm wants to be straight when you do, when you do this. Okay, so from here, you're going to take your hoop, take an overhand grip of the hoop, and then you take the hoop behind you like this. Okay, so from there, just take the hoop behind you, and then you're going to straighten the arm, and you're going to start to circle. Just watch if you've got a light. So you're there. So start to circle the hoop, and that'll be the wall. Sorry, I've got these lights in my dining room, so the lights come down. I've moved all the wine glasses off the light fixture, but I've just got visions of taking this out. <laughs> it's literally like less than a meter in front of this hoop, right? So keep surfing. Now watch, I've got a droopy arm here. Lengthen. If that wasn't good, this is your option. Let me go this way. Is to change hands here. So you can always do it that you change the hand line rather than keeping it on the one line. So just start to spin. So this is like um, a little lasso movement here, a wild lasso movement. Stay there as you go. Okay, now can we start to feel this work in the back of the arm? So the hoop transfers from the palm of the hand to the back of the hand. Oh, you're going to get a real good tricep workout. Now from here, can you start to circle? Now do be careful with your lights, be careful if you've got a wall, and just start to circle. I can't really do a big circle, but you could walk um, a better circle than that if you've got the space. Okay. Now, let's start to add in a squat position. So you're going to squat and circle and come back up to the top. So squat, hold, two, lift, two. Down, two, lift, two. Down, two, lift, two. Another rep. Can we feel the arm? So watch your arm, your elbow isn't too far out. It doesn't have to be touching um, the ear. Now let's do single time. So we're going to squat and lift, squat and lift. That's it. And we've got eight of these. Four. Hold on. Five. Try and keep that hoop level. Six. Watch out for the walls. <laughs> Seven. And you're probably on eight. Well done. Take a little shake out. Can you feel that on the back of the arms? I could. Right. Now we have to go on the opposite side. So just be careful if you've done your favourite side first that you don't fly this hoop out the window or somewhere where it's not meant to go. So let's just start, take the hoop and then start to circle. Okay. So again, if you're outside, you've probably got a little bit more freedom of movement here. So keep that um, hoop circle. I'm just going to move this way, this one better. Okay. So start to circle the hoop. That's it. Above the head. That's it. This is definitely my bad arm. <laughs> this is a side hand key cell whole surgery all those years ago. And it just doesn't work the same as the right arm, but never mind. We can only do what we can do. I'm sure we've got all got injured sides. So keep that circling. Try and keep the arm line long and just find that smooth circle with that hoop. Good. And then you can pick up the pace, that's fine. But remember, this is endurance based, so we've got a while to go yet. Now again, you can start to circle, just be careful, which I can on this arm, but just start to go small, and you can draw a bigger circle, obviously, I'm, I'm really going on the spot on this one, um, if you've got the space. <laughs> and your option, remember, is just to take it over the head. So choose where you want to go, you can transition it, And then from here, we're going to start to add in a squat position. So we're just going to squat down for two, lift for two, down, two, lift, two, down, down, lift, lift. Another two sets here. Now watch that arm isn't getting pushed forward, especially if it's your weaker arm, that the shoulder, the arm bone isn't getting pushed. I'm sure kids, if you're doing this, you've got this down to a T. Now we're going to go down for one, up for one, down for one, up for one. 
So just keep the circle, keep the arm line long. Can we feel that? I hope nobody trained arms this morning. <laughs> we might be double whammy on the arms. That's it. So just squat and release. And it's up to you in the squat. You can have your feet facing forward if you want to get more of an inner thigh workout. Then just turn them out to the side. That's it. Two more. Down and lift. Down and lift. Good. Okay. And then just release there. Okay, release that circle there. Hoop. Just have a little strap so you can take your hand on the back or you might find that they interlace so you're here. That's it. And we take a stretch. And then you're going to release. So you can either just take the arm down or you can hook and grip, take hold. And then release. Okay. So take a little shake out there. So from this position, we're just going to start to come into more of a leg line workout. So making sure you've got some space in front of you now, that you can start to pass the hoop around the body here. Okay, so you're just going to pass the hoop around the body. I'm going to actually go side on to teach this, I think. Yeah, so just pass the hoop around the body. Then the next time it comes around, lift the right leg. So you're just lifting the right leg. Try and keep your back long as you do this. So we lift. This is going to work the arms still. One more in that direction. And then we're going to change. So you're going to go the opposite way. So lift and release. So just feed that hoop through as we go. So there's a little bit of a hamstring work on the opposite side. <clears throat> and keep that moving. So my heel wraps around as we go. Now, see if you can alternate. So you're going to go right leg, left leg. So change. Now, how straight can you make the leg? So we lengthen. Then if you wanted more, you can add in a little hop and change. So you make it more of a dynamic movement. Rather than just the leg lift, you've got a little bounce into that. A little hop, keep the line of the leg as you go. So we're just alternating, or you can stay on one leg. This actually makes it easier changing on this option. And then release, okay. Now, we are gonna stay on the one leg, so we're going to see. If you do your right leg first, I'll then do opposite. So just the one leg, and you're gonna do four. So basically all the work, almost like plyometrics, is on the one side. Okay, so your left leg is doing the work. So you're gonna take it through and then hop. We're gonna do two for four, three, four. Okay, now change direction. Do the first one just low key as you change. Now we hop. Four, three, two, one. Back to the first leg, we're gonna do eight. Option is just to stay with like the little hop. So we're going to go eight, seven, six, it's a good chest stretch here, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, don't lean back, two, one, good, well done. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit closer to towards that floor. Before we do that, you're going to come back, <coughs> excuse me, into that hoop. So you should have felt on the hamstrings, we've worked into those adductors yet, and that inner thigh line, and we've worked obviously into that front line. So let's piece this all together. So start with your right leg in front, and then rock forward and back, let the hoop go, and start to press through. So you're going to power through that abdominal line, and then you can let your arms go out, you can let your arms come up to the top, wherever you want to go on that line, or they might just stay relaxed here. Now, we're going to do a transition, go out wide, so stay here, hold, that's it. And then bring your other foot in front, so change feet if you can, that's it. So remember, you can sit on any option you like, and then, 
take it back out into a squat position and feet face forward on this first one. Let's squat down, squat up. So we have got eight, seven and six, five, for four, three, push forward and back, two and one, center. Now turn to your um, right two circles. Just be careful. <laughs> you're not going to crash into that wall. But you know what you're doing anyway to retrieve that hoop now. If you feel like you're going to lose it. And then go to the other way. Just even it out. <laughs> so press forward and back as we go. Then back to centre. Now from here, you're going to take it into a step touch. So you can bring your feet into, into hip width. So to your right, step together, left, step together. Or you can go wide, then narrow. Remember the option, wide and narrow. Or just step, touch it. So as long as you're pressing forward and back into your hoop rather than round and round, you should be able to keep the control. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me, one more. And last time, bring it back to centre. Okay, now we're gonna go wide and turn out. So you're going to go out to that V position here, bring your palms together as you start to circle. Okay, so we're going to sink down on a turn out and then we're going to lengthen. So we go down and we lengthen. This is for three. One more. Now we're going to come down and hold, press the palms together and keep that weight going forward and back. So you're grounded through the foot line. That's it. Stay there. Press into the palms. Like you sink a little lower into that position. What's happening? Navel through to spine. Shoulders are down. Head is level. Don't look down. It's tempting to watch that hoop. Now come back. A little fraction with your weight. Sit your weight back. There we go. Into the heel line. Then press into the big toe line. Activate inner thighs, then back up to the top. Good. And above the head, let's go. Turbo now, power it out. Go. Hold on. So you can bring your arms back here or to here, whatever you want to do. Press it out. Let's go faster. Stay with it. Okay, now switch your right foot in front leg. Keep the pace going. Keep working. So just forward and back from here. The back foot doesn't lift, just transfer the weight. Off we go. And switch legs. Can we go a little faster? Keep moving. I definitely deserve those Easter eggs. <laughs> After this, keep going. Hold on. Now pick up the pace, concentrate, can we go faster, we are nearly there, come on keep going, press it through, and then wide, stay there, you're going to finish this turbo section again on a wide position, hold on, stay with it, and slow it down, <laughs> it's going to take hold of that hoop, you can come out of it in a minute, well done, just held here, lengthen, oh, watch the hoop doesn't fall, up to the sky, and then bring it back to centre. Okay, your next one, we are heading to that floor, you know I'm going to put core in it, <laughs> so you might want that hoop in it, just bear with me. I'm hoping you're on camera and you can see me now, this is your option, you come down onto your forearm, you take one leg away, you take the other leg away and you're going to do like a scissor kick here. So it's like the back of the, the heel is going to scrape the back of your thigh. So you're not just pulling it in from your knee or your hip joint. We want the length. So extend through the hips. Okay, now, you can do that for if you want a little bit more. You start with the hoop and you circle. So you're going to be resting on the one forearm. Then your legs come off the floor and then you go into your um, scissors here. So the arm is working, the glutes are working. 
yeah, the lap of the buttocks into the abdominal line. So we lengthen. There we go. So you don't have to do that option. You can stay here. Lengthen away. Keep it going wherever you are. Keep lengthening away. Spine, what you're not here, is long. That's it. Stay with it. So making sure you've got this. If we do this again, we'll go from standing to the floor, but we'll just build it up today, yeah? And we can add that in next time. We can do squats into kneeling, but not yet. <laughs> we'll add that on. Okay, hold on. Can we feel this? Ah, oh, and rest. Now we're going to do the other side. I'm not so excited. Okay, so set up. You can come back onto the forearms. If you're finding still the forearms now is too much and you need to drop it back an option, that's okay. Just come here, yeah? Otherwise, we're going to get that hoop. You're going to start to circle it over the head. And then you can come back onto the forearm once you've got that position. And then pick up the feet and then start to lengthen the leg line. So these legs go away from you as you circle. I've actually got vision to me hitting myself over the head <laughs> on that direction. Or you might be just here. There we go. Keep lengthening, reaching away. Stay with it. Hold on. Last little bit. So if that was getting too much, you could just come up here and work the arm line instead. And we lift one leg. You don't have to do your um, legs out to the side, uh, forward and back, if you didn't want to. So last little bit. Stay with it. This is tough. And then you can rest. Good work. <laughs> Release down. Okay. From here, just bring the hoop. Um, and hook it round the foot line. So you're just going to hook the, the hoop and lengthen it towards you. So you're going to lift yourself up there. So you can take one leg away. If you want a bit, bit, bit of a bigger stretch, just put your foot in the hoop. Bring your hands to the side. And the hoop probably needs to go over your head so you don't knock yourself out. So you're there. So you're going to lengthen. So you can take the leg. Pull the toes towards you. The hoop doesn't have to be on the ground. It could be there. You can do it in seated position just here with the leg bent. Just obviously watch where the hoop's going. Okay, we can keep both feet down. <clears throat> and release. Change legs. Hook the foot in the hoop. Pull the toes towards you. And then lengthen. This leg can be long if you're not pushing up into your lower back. And watch the um, this right leg. The bottom isn't lifting. Or the knee. And then draw the leg back. And if you want it more still, you can just hook it there and drag it back. Okay, keep the foot flexed because that will give you a calf stretch as well. <clears throat> and then release. Okay, press into the hoop, pull yourself up. And then from here, just going to transition. Bring the hoop to your left side. Bring your right foot in front. Press down into the back foot. Just watch if you need to support through the knees. You can lengthen the arm over because you've got the hoop there to support you. Other hand now comes underneath. And then centre. Just bring the hoop round the other side and lengthen it this way too. Just because of the dynamics when you've been hooping to change ordinarily, you just stretch obviously to this side. And release. Changing sides. Keep the hoop where it is a moment. So this one might feel a natural because we're so used to going the other way. So just lengthen away. So when you're there, just making sure you press the back foot down. Watch if you're not pushing the pelvis out to the side. And then switch the hoop to the side that's going to feel more natural and lengthen. I've probably got underhand grip here. And release. Okay, tuck the back foot. It's going to step into standing position. And then from this position, release your head and neck down, lengthen. And then circle. Oh, that thing is crunching my neck. <laughs> right to left. Just release. And then from here, put the heat back onto your left side. Take hold of your right foot. 
And again, the knee wants to be more or less in line, so you're not pushing forward. And just check with this foot, it's not touching the bottom, even if you can get there because there's nowhere to go, then you're not actually doing anything. So press your foot back into your hand. And as you do that, feel the hip open at the front. So it's that opposition of movement there. You just go back into position as you stretch and release. So we're not really holding these stretches too long today, more like a maintenance stretch. So between you know, 10, 15 seconds. And you feel that right through the front of the thighs, the thigh you're stretching. So press foot back into hand rather than the other way around and press the hip forward without going into your lower back. Knee lines to knee. And then release. Okay, from here, go out wide with the feet and then you're gonna take the, um, yourself back into your hoop. So you're here and you're gonna lengthen to flat back extension. Turn your feet out if you haven't already, so you've got a deep inner thigh stretch. You can let the hoop then come down towards the floor and then lengthen the hoop forward, just don't fall over. So you've got support. You could do this without your hoop and your hands on the floor if you prefer. Now either bend the knees to come back up or you can keep them straight if you find that strength. Just bring your feet back in slightly, now into parallel. Just lengthen over to the sides, just hold that as a little stretch there. And then come back up to centre, stretch the opposite side, centre, and then lengthen back. So again, just be careful when you're here, be not directly into your lower back. And release. And then just come out of that hoop. You can see a minute to finish. Interlace, press away. I guess down slightly, but don't drop the chin. Press away, so you're pulling the shoulder blades apart. And then release, and we're like that. So excellent everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. So it doesn't matter if you're not a pro hoop or not, I'm not a pro hoop, <laughs> just for fitness, just for fun. Um, let me know your thoughts, let me know your own feedback on that. And have a fantastic uh, bank holiday Monday. Don't forget, in the private group, Pilates is on tonight as well. Um, and we've still got Monday movement actually at one o'clock, so I might see some of you soon um, at one. So have a brilliant day, and I'll see you all soon.